Your Excellency, the welcome to people of the fountain. Thank you very much. Yes, is uh, about a year now that you left office. How do you feel a year after? Well, I feel very good. I want to say categorically that I feel very good. I, when I was in power, I used to say something jokingly that if it were possible within the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria for a governor to take a leave, a long leave, like a year or so, and put his opponent so that the whole world will see the difference between what government can offer and what critical opposition can offer, that I would have done that. But I didn't even have to do that. The Constitution didn't allow it, but what allowed it permitted this. And I'm sure by now people will know that the resources that we were trying to husband as intricately as the situation was, we delivered. Engineer Shegoni, in fact, is a governor. By looking at the program that Engineer Shegoni and back upon then, it's a big program. The kind of things that I hear, the kind of uh, telephone calls I receive, the kind of prayers, prayer texts I receive, makes me very happy. And I want to say this, really, seriously, and in very, very good conscience. Between staying in power, and people will be thinking I uh, was probably blocking them from having a messiah, and being out of government and getting this kind of accolades that I'm getting, I prefer this. You're getting accolades now, a year after. I prefer this. The touch of the equity integrity. 16th of October 2010, the former governor, Shegun Oni, joined a huge waiting crowd in Ifaki Ekiti for a grand reception. <laughs> Whatever side the former governor turned, he found support in the cheery crowd. As only came up, you know how to be more conceited for this woman. So you bend it. It did go and she could have tea. Ah, which I wish A street in Ifaki Ikiti was named after him. For Shegwoni, a new life began on the 16th of October 2010. 15th of October 2010, when you were leaving the governor's office after the uh, court judgment. Can you recollect how you felt that day? Let me tell you, I didn't feel bad and people who were there will testify. First, when, I, when they concluded the judgment, I, I prayed. I was the one who prayed for all the people that were in my office and I said, let us go for a Thanksgiving service at the chapel. After that, I waited a little bit for my family to pack everything that belongs to me in the presence of the, the police and the SSS to ensure that nothing of government was taken away. Not one pin of government was taken away. And it was all recorded that way. The only thing I took away were the cars that I was using because I was still the one in charge until the new governor comes in and the vehicles dropped me in Lagos, turned immediately and they were ready in um, Adoikiti before 7 a.m. the following day because they traveled all through the night with uh, security compliments. So I wasn't feeling bad. Somebody was still saying it a few minutes ago that they were surprised inside the bus that took me to Lagos that I was asleep before we got to Ibadan. That's me. Because I know that if God does not allow anything, it don't happen. And God will not allow a bad thing to happen 
to his own children. You remember I said there are three judgments. One is a burden of posterity. We have been here, we delivered, and our name will be written in here. The second is a verdict of God. We don't know what it is, but because we have had kept faith with it, we know it will be positive. The third is the verdict of man. Whatever it is, uh, cannot show us off balance. I thank God for taking me through that experience. People of the fountain. I told everybody, I said, my coming out of government, I'm not going to be an opposition to any government. I believe I should be too big for that. So I was not indulging myself in criticizing. People who come to me, they want my support. Students, days, various groups, and I always tell them, no, I'm not going to help you to fight government. That's not my, that's not my take. But whenever they lie against me, that's the times I have to go back to say, go and check this and that. I can remember things as much as can be expected of an average person. So I don't even have to go through papers or files, but I have access to my own memory and I can always answer questions. So those are the only times I go back. Otherwise, I am always moving forward. I don't, I don't indulge myself in trying to be a critical government. What do I need it for? People of the fountain.